Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do an unboxing and initial impressions of the Alcatel Pop 4 Plus. It's a sub $100 Android smartphone with a 5.5 inch display. This is TK, let's check it out. Here is the, uh, the box, it's the Alcatel Pop 4 Plus unlock device. It has a two year warranty built in. Alcatel has been doing really good about providing good warranties on their products. Uh, the, uh, the perfect amount of more expression. Again, we see the Instagram, similarly Instagram logo. We have 4G LTE, a 5.5 inch HD display, an eight megapixel front facing camera, I'm sorry, eight megapixel camera in the back, 16, megapixel, 16 gigabytes of internal ROM, expandable, as well as 2,500 milliamp battery, Android 6.0 built into the device, um, and the entire package comes pre is ready to go under 100 bucks around the uh, thanksgiving holiday with black friday it was even down to under 50 bucks but if you want to pick it up right now it's still reasonably priced under 100 looking at the technical specs in the back here we're saying again we have a 5.5 inch hd display 4g lte speeds powerful qualcomm snapdragon processor we'll check that out 8 megapixel main camera on the back 5 megapixel wide angle viewing in the front unlocked for the usa carriers and gsm carriers of course and a two-year warranty Go ahead and take out the device. We'll push it in the middle here. It's actually recessed quite well inside so that it does not fall off. And right out of the box, we have the device. Let's go ahead and take it out. Here we have the device. Uh, it looks very nice. Again, we have a 5.5 inch display, uh, 7.9 7 millimeter stick. It does support dual SIMs, eight megapixel back camera, wide angle front facing camera, as well as 4G LTE. And uh, basically it looks like it's pretty much a flat uh, display on the bottom. And then as far as on the back, it looks like a brushed aluminum black back, but it's really a plastic. Uh, back and we have a back facing speaker here the camera the 8 megapixel camera with the led volume rocker up and down with the power button and then we have a little plastic cover for the screen and that just takes us straight in and um, i did want to mention to you guys that this does have a removable back even though it may not look like it let's go ahead and bring it up uh, as i'm taking things up we do have the micro usb connector as well as the microphone on the bottom and then uh, the entire back plate comes off we do have access to the uh, to the uh, battery in the back, although it's non-removable from what it looks like. And here we have the two SIM slots, one, two, and then the SD card uh, support on this end. So not only is it expandable storage, but it also has dual SIM support for US and it is unlocked. Very, very good. And of course we have the headphone jack and a microphone at the top part of the screen. I went ahead and popped in my SIM card. We're booting up for the first time. Uh, we just have a couple of more instruction manual information here in the side. Yeah. Um, Let's go ahead and check it out. We have a power charger here uh, connected and almost no information. Oh, here it is. It's a five volt at one amp charger. So no fast charging on this device, unfortunately. And then I'm sure it's a micro USB to USB type A connecting cable. Here's the device booting up for the first time. Um, hopefully you guys can see this is that I can't really bump up the resolution yet. I don't have access to the notification shade. Um, it does give us access to a few different uh, providers, Family Mobile, IMS, uh, Power, uh, Metro PCS. And then of course we have T-Mobile LTE and Tethering. I'm just gonna keep it at LTE and there's a few more going down the list. We'll say okay. And then it takes us into normal settings. I do already see the LTE symbol on the top. We have about maybe 30% on the battery. Let's go ahead and skip through the process of setting up. Here we are at the main home screen right after we're done the actual setup of the device. I didn't set up my account. The only thing I went through is I made sure that we had the LTE configuration in the beginning and then we'll go ahead and hit next. It does give us information is that basically the launcher supports uh, the ability to show number of notifications on the icon. So that's very nice. It's similar to the way we have it on Nova. We just need to give it access to the system. We'll say allow. It does have Android and Marshmallow running Android 6.0.1. We'll say, okay, got it. So right out of the box, again, uh, first boot. I wanted to mention one th work, work thing with the SIM card. It doesn't support nano SIMs. It requires micro SIM. So if you have a nano SIM, make sure you have an adapter when you purchase this device. Um, we do have three buttons on the bottom. If I press the home, uh, this is actually not a fingerprint sensor, just home, recent app. And of course we have the back button. Uh, you have shortcuts for phone, messages, camera, and uh, the camera, well, here we have the uh, browser, as well as the Google Play service is installed. It looks like Color Catcher, which is a theming option for this launcher, music player, and then all the Play services with the nice little animation here that we saw. It's a 720p, 5.5 inch display. So it's an HD display, not full HD. Um, and it does have a built-in camera on the back, an eight megapixel and a front pacing uh, camera as well. Uh, we'll get a chance to check that out. But the uh, main thing I wanna show you guys is real quick on the launcher. As far as pre-built or pre-installed applications, we only have a few, I think. Instagram looks like one of them, Facebook, and that's pretty much it. No bloatware out of the box. We have um, no Google Now. And if, let me see if I press and hold on here, it does take us in and search. So it's a modified version of kind of like the Google launcher. 
on the uh, bringing down from the top uh, no sim card in slot 2 that's true do i want to bring uh, in new sim card contacts i'm going to say skip for now uh, okay disregard for here and then we'll bring down notification shade all the standard toggles we have lte support this is t-mobile lte right out of the box no configuration required it all turns on by itself we have the uh, the ability to turn on wi-fi bluetooth uh, screenshot hotspot and then of course we have profile here we'll be able to access if we need to change between different profiles say allow say again allow and then here we can go ahead and set it up under context and assign the profile for the owner of the device bring down one more time we'll go down into settings and let's go all the way down to the bottom and about device yep 6.0.1 and august 1st security patch and then of course we can check for updates we can go under updates and then we'll check real quick and see if we have any updates available no updates to the system and it looks like nothing for the for the apps as you can also able to update them through there uh, what we do have overall is a almost pure experience it is skinned and you can definitely see the icon packs look a little bit different here uh, let's look real quick as far as ram and rom uh, how much we have on either of those so let's go down here we have of course display setting lock screen sound notification led indicator as it has an led indicator on the left apps let's go into storage so out of the box we have 5.32 gigs used out of the 16 so not too bad but you can expand it with an additional memory card um, and as far as uh, memory let's go ahead and directly in so we have two gigs uh that's interesting. Uh, total memory is 1.4 uh, gigs, which is supposed to say about 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, but again, 752 is used, so about 50% of what total. We have actually a partial 1.5 gigs and then free. Uh, and then we can, of course, close out different applications. Uh, we'll go back one more time. Uh, battery wise, it's about 36%, so not a full charge. We do definitely need to charge that up before we can try to use it. Gestures, we have turn over to mute, and then we have the ability of double tapping to wake, double tapping to go to sleep. I'll turn that on. And then we'll go back, uh, of course, accounts, language, backup. Uh, very nice. The launcher does have a small amount of customization. We have a color catcher app, which gives us the ability of catching a color and customizing our UI to match that. So the example would be, um, let's go into using the camera. We'll say allow. It's going to turn on the camera and now we have it sitting in the background. So I'm not going to have it take something on my end. Uh, I'm going to have it take in like a, something that's a little bit more colorful. I have a little scar, a uh, little uh, chamois here. I'm going to go in, touch to focus, and let's go and take a picture of it. And it scanned it in. We'll say OK. And it applied this theme, which essentially is a Snow White, a black and re uh, a black and white theme. I'm not sure why. Uh, let's go with the darker tone wood, and we'll say apply. So this is what it's th thought that would be the best color catching or matching to that uh, little uh, purple uh, cloth that I showed you guys. Uh, you can go in and customize it. You can go back in here, go into color catcher. Um, you don't have to go directly into it. You can just say theme library and then you can say download additional ones. There are additional themes that are available directly out to download. Again, you can customize them, bring them in. And it looks like it does support icon packs as it does have a custom icon pack built in. The camera real quick. Let's go ahead and check it out um overall let's look at the settings I'll go settings here uh we have an 8 megapixel back facing camera at 4 by 3 aspects ratio we can go 16 well, sorry wrong one we can go 16 by 9 and get a 5 megapixel uh, crop uh, view gps uh, shutter sound maximum video quality resolution looks like it's 720p so we are locked into the resolution on the screen as this is a 5.5 inch 720p display uh, we're not going to be able to go higher than what the display can play and then we have video and camera uh, we have the ability of going between auto mode, HDR, pano, scanner, and face beauty. And then let me go back here, switching over to the front. We have the same setup option, except we lost, we lost HDR, pano, and scanner. We have auto mode and face beauty, and then we can go into settings. Um, again, it looks like 720p is the maximum resolution we're going to be able to get out of this device either way. Um, and as far as the resolution on the front, that's a 4 by 3 aspect ratio to 5 megapixel. You can go higher, uh, sorry, you can go lower and get the 16 by 9 option. Uh, but overall, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can snap a couple of pics. Okay, a little bit of a delay. Again, I'm not expecting it to be super fast in the processing, but I think it's because I do have... Do not, okay, so no, HDR was off. I'm going to go back to auto mode. So in auto mode, it's a little bit of a delay. 
not not the best at this point but it looks okay uh, let's go ahead and bring uh, real quick just to music i want to see how the sound quality comes out of this before we go too far maximum resolution is again we're locked into 720p so we're going to be experiencing pretty much a 720p experience on this device which is not bad for the price point it's a sub 100 dollar device on sale under 50 bucks so for 50 bucks really you cannot complain now the back speakers here the speakers are on the back i'm going to see how the sound is going to come out so let's go ahead and flip it over Of course, the fanny pack. So uh, it sounds like even though the speakers are on the back, it does provide the sound experience entirely out of the bottom right. So if I put my hand straight in like this, if I put it in back, I'm not blocking the audio. So it's not bad. It's not front facing speakers, but it's definitely not bad. Initial impressions of this device, uh, it's not bad for the price point. I'm going to have to say it in that in that frame. Um, as long as you understand it's a sub $100 phone, 720p display, 5.5 inch display, uh, dual SIM, unlocked, available to be picked up right now. Just use it with any GSM carrier that you'd like. It's not a bad deal. It's a great backup phone a great entry phone or even a phone for a young one that's getting their first device or even a family member that's getting their first smartphone as it does have a pretty decent sized screen on it. it's a 5.5 inch display uh, media playback as you guys heard the audio is back facing and slightly to the right but it actually did work pretty good even if i blocked it or if i did on the other side the other thing i forgot to mention to you guys is uh, double pressing the power button does turn on the camera which is a standard thing in android so you'll notice it does turn on um, snappiness and uh, you know functionality uh, it is a skinned ui this is not a pure experience of android but it is very lightly skinned you do have the ability of customizing using in the color catcher which gives you the ability of customizing your ui to match your outfit or your custom you know your your personal mood for the day, I guess that would be the best way to say it. As a heads up, this is gonna be part of a giveaway that I'm gonna be doing on the channel. So I just wanted to share with you guys my initial impressions of it. This is not the video announcing the giveaway. This will be coming up very soon. So keep it locked into the channel. Other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe as usual. And thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next one.